This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so first we're going to start with the spookiest. Stevie J and Faith, they got married two years ago. Okay, two years ago. Now, Unwind with Tasha K got this footage. I don't know how she got it, but there's this footage on her, on her Instagram of Stevie J on a live video or recording. Uh, Faith... Uh, accusing her of taking guys back to their house and smashing in their bed that's the most disrespectful thing you could do okay and he's calling her all kinds of names she's like get the camera out of my face it's crazy all right now he filed for divorce and then he saw him doing cartwheels on the beach the other day weird super weird right but I don't know. Unwind with Tasha K somehow got this footage, and uh, she's uh, she put it out there. So we'll we'll see what what happens with that. But this is the weirdest thing. Kanye and Drake was this all a trick? Did they trick us? Was this all to sell albums? Because I did hear a rumor before their albums even dropped that they were cool. They pieced it up. They're cool now. But then you get Kanye recorded a song. And Drake recorded a song, and they're going at each other on each other's albums. It's on the deluxe, right? So it's like, was this all a trick to sell albums? Because they're both on the same label. They're both being distributed by Universal, you know? So was it, I, I'm starting to think, like, or is it just there's enough pressure there from Larry Hoover and Jay Prince to make them cool again? I mean, they're partying in the house right now. D uh, Dave Chappelle did a private performance for them. Am I glad it happened? Yeah, I think a piece should have happened because it's kind of annoying that they keep going at each other and it's, you know, it's like little petty stuff. It's like, it's personal, but it's not like crazy out of hand. You know, it's like, it's just, it's, it, it's almost all comes from jealousy. For some reason, Kanye, with all the success he has and has surpassed everybody, right? With fashion and everything he's doing. He's still jealous of Drake and his sales and how much he can captivate an audience, right? But Kanye has probably the best audience because they buy all his stuff. I, I don't get why he has any jealousy at all towards Drake. I mean, Drake came in around 2010, 2009 and 10, dominated for 10 years. Kanye West came in in the early 2000s and dominated for 10 years. You have nothing to be jealous about, bro. And you have the best audience, right? They buy all his stuff. They support his clothing, everything, right? They've made him a billionaire. <laughs> Indirectly. Well, directly, I would say, because they bought everything. Uh, Drake, I think this is all I think this was all fake. And I think that Jay Prince and Larry Hoover, they're gonna do this concert, they're gonna make a bunch of money. It's gonna, it's gonna go to Larry Hoover's freedom, you know, like you know, his lawyers and stuff. I don't know, man. I mean, they do this concert, I think every couple of years to raise money for Larry Hoover. I don't know, man. Um, it's a weird, weird thing. But uh, we will see. I mean, they'll talk about it at one point. They'll probably say, yo, man, you know, I got respect for him. And da -da -da -da. You know, they'll give that little speech. And, you know, it'll be all... You won't remember it anymore. But there was a lot done. There was a lot done. They better start working on that Calabasas album. That's all I got to say. We got to get some music out of this at least, right? This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one.